Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. Armor. Armor in RuneScape is one of those things that gives status. It shows power and accomplishment. Where there is mid-level items like the Fighter Torso and Barrows Clubs all the way up to the Fire and Infernal Cape. Let's just say I've neglected it a bit, because well, well, I look like this. So that's what I want to change next. I've now got two powerful weapons in the Dragon Scimitar and the Crystal Bow. I need the armor to back it up. The first stop for me is the Zerka outfit. This account build and look is probably one of my favorites. It just screams 2007. It's worth noting, I won't be completing this full set you see on the screen here. The Fire Cape won't happen for a long time, and Barrow's Gloves too. I also have no idea how to get Rune Boots in a Nightmare. But the fundamentals of a Zerka Helm, a torso, some solid plate legs, and a Defender are what I want to work towards obtaining. So let's get started. It's time to take on the Fremenic Trials. To start this quest, we need to talk to Brunt the Chieftain. He tells us that to become a member of the Fremenic Clan, we need to get 7 votes from the available 12 from the council members. I don't know who a council member is, so I'm just going to start talking to everyone. Oh yeah, and just before we get into the content here, if you're wondering what this is, I had a stab at live streaming some of this content. I'm unsure if I'll keep that when questing because I can't read the chat, which makes it quite non-interactive. Perhaps I'll do it when I'm skilling or some other minigame activity when there's no potential spoilers. Either way, let's get into it. Okay, are you a member of the council? No, I'm not. That's good. Good start. Uh, are you Manny? You wish to become a member of the Fremenic. I haven't had a place in the council many years past. I'm always glad to see new blood enter our tribe, and I'll happily vote for you. Great. Providing you can pass a little test for me. As a Fremenic, you'll need to show cunning, stamina, fortitude, and an iron constitution. I know of only one way to test all of these. Drinking contests. You versus me, a stiff drink each. Last man standing wins the trial. Yeah, go on then. When you're ready to begin, go and pick up a keg from the table over there and come back to here. Okay, cool. Wait, what did he say? Pick up the keg or the tangard? Uh, I think he said the tangard. And I'm going to get this keg as well. And then talk to this dude again. Right, cool. I've got my keg. Are we ready to drink? Let's do it. As you wish. I'll drink first and you'll drink. Jesus Christ, just necking it straight out of the keg. He just drank out of a tankard and I just drank out of an entire keg. Come back if you fancy a rematch. Just let me have a coffee first. What? I don't know. That made no sense, right? I have to drink this guy, but he's just drinking out of a... I don't really get that. Let me get this keg again. Let me use this on that. No, okay. I can't pour it into that. What about a beer tankard? And if I drop that, can I talk to him and try again? No. So I've got to drink out of this keg. Okay, I don't get this because it's the same thing that's happening again, right? I need to do something else here. Um, I obviously need to do something with this keg so I don't get pissed whilst I'm drinking him. Don't have a clue what I would do. Maybe talk to this guy because he's got a beer in his hand as well. Uh, council's always messing up with drinking. I hate the council. All right, he's not on the council. What about Elgrim? No, he's not. All right, I'm a little bit confused and I've literally just met the first person, so this is a bit of a mess. Who's that guy? That's a bard. A long haul bouncer. Can't go through there, talent only. Right, that's not an option. Uh, I'm gonna carry on just probably going around talking to everyone at this point because I don't really know where to go with the whole drinking thing. Uh, let's talk to this person. What brings you to this place? Are you a member of the council? He is. Okay, I'm recognized as one of the clan's highest warriors. What is it to you? Even though you may be an outlander, I will not hold this against you if you can prove yourself to be fierce of heart in a combat situation to me. Do I have to fight this guy? Okay, cool. So this guy, I might have to fight him. Wait, did he just ask if I was ready? I completely missed that. I just clicked through it. Uh, I don't know if I am. I, mean, I assume I can teleport out of this thing if I do go into it. Um, what did he just ask me? I'm going to stop. I'm going to do that conversation again. Oh, I've just done it again. I need to stop it before that last message. Yeah, we saw that. I respect for you as a warrior. Are you prepared for the battle? No, I'm not. I mean, pff, what could go wrong? Probably should bank my graceful. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back, get some food, bank my graceful and try and fight this guy. I can't believe I'm this far into my account and I currently look like this. This is absolutely abysmal. Hello. Yes, okay, I'm ready for the battle. Then allow me to present you with my challenge. This ladder here will take you to a place of combat. I have placed a special warrior down there to challenge you. Also, it's not even him. Battle him to the death and you'll pass my challenge. If at any point you were to leave combat, simply climb. Okay, cool, that's good. So I can climb back up the ladder. If you leave, you'll of course fail the test. You may retry my test in the future if you fail, but you must stay down there until the death. Until the death if you wish for my vote at the council. Right, okay, you must defeat him three times to prove that you're worthy. The fourth time that you fight him will be to the death, so do not show cowardice. There is one more important rule. You may not... Oh, for fuck's sake. You may not enter the battleground with any armor or weaponry of any kind. 
Okay, cool, so that was a good run to the bank. If you need to place your equipment into your bank account, I recommend that you speak to a seer who knows a spell that can do that for you. Okay, cool, that's good. There's a seer somewhere, I believe. Is he over here somewhere? Right, okay, so I've got going completely unarmed. I cannot do that for you until you've completed the easy... Tr oh, for fuck's sake. Right, I've got to teleport back to the bank. Oh, that was a complete waste of time. Right, cool. Oh, okay, can I just climb down now? Yep, I can, cool. Right, where the hell am I? Oh, fuck. I guess I can pray melee. Yeah, I can. Okay, uh, let's drink my potions. Now, the guy said on the fourth fight, you have to fight to the death. So I do wonder if there's going to be some sort of mechanic here where either I have to die or something, or because I feel like that is something this game would throw at you. Right, okay, that was the second form. Uh, now we fight for real, apparently. I don't know what the difference is here. I feel like he said that and he just carried on doing exactly the same thing. Okay, we've almost got his third phase down. And here he goes. You need to re- Oh my god, he just drained my prayer. Can I drink a prayer potion? Oh my life. Okay, he's going crazy on me. Oh, he just drained my prayer again. I kind of have a feeling like I might just need to die to him. I feel like it's one of those like bosses in games where you're just destined to die. I've got tons of food though. We'll see how we get on. If we can start hitting him and I can see his HP going down, then I might try and long this out a little bit, but... I can't actually see if his health bar is going down. You know what, I think I'm going to die. I think I'm going to not waste the food. I think if I die and I die properly, then I'll come back and give it another go. But I just don't see this being an actual thing I have to defeat. I think that's what he meant about when he said in the chat, he said something about you have to show you're not a coward or whatever. Um, I think that's what the test is here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was not a normal death animation. Hey, there we go. Knew it. Okay, you passed my trial with flying colours. I'd be honoured to represent you to the council as a worthy of being... A Fremenic after watching that superb battle. Right, cool. Nice. Okay, cool. So we've got the first one. Uh, I have the warrior's vote at the council. Um, what's this guy? Can't do that. What about talking to him? Are you a member of the council? Uh, okay, he's not. Uh, sorry, Outlander. I have other things to be doing. Dron. Leave me or I'll destroy you. That's nice. Are you a member of the council? I'm afraid not. Uh, that's a warrior. What about this woman? Freyjord. Are you a member of the council? Afraid not. God, this is a good star, isn't it? About Olaf the Bard. Are you a member of the council? He is. Cool. Okay, my talents are as an exemplary musician. Uh, and you wish to earn my vote. I'll gladly accept you as a Fremenic. Should you be able to prove yourself to have a little musical ability? By playing in our long haul. All you need to do is impress the revellers there with a few verses of an epic of your own creation. Yeah, let's do it. That is great news. We always need more music lovers around here. Right, what do I do? The bar will vote for me if I can pass the chart. I must make myself a liar and play it in the long haul. First, I need to get some wood from a special musical tree. Next, I need to get some golden wool from a local troll. Finally, I need to get to the lake spirit to enchant... He didn't mention any of that. Where have I got that information from? Let's talk to him again. Upon talking to the bard again, he tells us in more detail how to craft this lyre. We need to cut a musical tree to the east of the village, then carve it into a special shape. To then string the lyre, we need to visit a troll to the southeast to get some golden wool. Lastly, we need to tune the lyre with a blessing from a lake spirit to the southwest of the village. To get the blessing, we need an offering of a rare fish, either a raw shark, manta ray, or sea turtle. Fortunately, I have a shark in the bank from either Temporos or Wintertod. Can't quite remember. Right, so, um... Let's... Oh, fuck, I ain't got no runes. I've got to run back to the bank. Let's run back to the bank, get a raw shark out. I'm going to get a weapon just in case we need to kill this troll as well. Get an axe, a knife. I think that's everything I need. Um, I don't know what I'm looking out for. I'm not going to lie. Do I have to literally click on every single tree? Probably. I don't know if it's going to be like a visual difference if there's a musical tree around here. What makes it musical? Does anything look differently? Is it that? What's that? A swaying tree. I mean... Oh, fucking hell. I mean, how did I miss that? It's, it's on a massive hill and it looks completely different to every other tree. I just completely ignored it. Right, that's cool. Use a branch on that. Nice. We've got the unstrung liar. So now I have to go to the southeast. What's that? Is that it? Some golden thing, he said. There's a troll with some golden wool. Golden tree? Yeah, golden sheep. Oh, fuck. I need shears, don't I? Let's talk to this person first. We might need something else. Hello. Always trying to steal Lalis golden apples. You go away now. Actually, I'm not after your golden apples. I was wondering if I could have some golden wool. I needed to string a liar. Give me a present. I give him wool. Other human. Here we go. Someone else has been there and you gave them wool. Oh, ask Aladdin. Okay, cool. So we need to go to the other guy um, who we were told about as well, who was also doing the trials. Ask Aladdin. Doesn't say where I can find him, but I think he's in the village. I'd assume he's in the village anyway. Right. Now we've got to find this guy. Oh, it's a little kid. I understand you managed to get some golden wool from Lally. 
How did you get the golden wool from him? I persuaded him he needed a pet to help him guard his apples. A pet that would never sleep. A pet that would never need food or exercise. Pet rock. Oh, this is the pet rock kid. Okay, so we need to get him a rock, I assume. Do you have any spare rocks? All right, so we've got the rock. Let's head back to the troll. All right, I got you a present, mate. But he's already got one, so I don't really understand why I'm going to... If this is even going to work. Uh, might interest you a pet rock. Yeah, exactly. He's already got one. There you go. He doesn't want more. Um, golden apples is all that got me to eat. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't want your apples. So you're hungry. I think I have the perfect thing for you to eat. I just need to get myself an onion, a potato, and a cabbage. You need your pet rock, a cabbage, a potato, and an onion. Okay, interesting. I need all of those things. And I think there's some farms here. Yeah, there's a farm here. I don't know if it's going to give me everything. And I've already forgotten what it was. Oh, and it doesn't tell me in my thing. Pretty sure it was a cabbage, a potato, and an onion, wasn't it? Right, let's grab a cabbage, a potato, and an onion. Right, I've got everything. Um, I should much go back to it now. Or do I use this on the rock? No. Let's just run back to the troll. I don't really know what my plan is. What am I going to do with this here? I want some food. Cool, I've got tasty food. Have you ever tried a human delicacy known as stone soup? Here we go. Now put this rock into your cauldron over there and make soup from it. Simply seasoning. Okay, cool. So I'm making stone soup apparently. Uh, so I have to put the rock in the cauldron. And then I have to put in the potato. Well, that's an onion. Put that in. Then the potato. And then the cabbage. That's delicious. We never know human to make soup out of stone. And we still not want to trade golden apples for your stone. Pet rocks get jealous. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. He just gave it to me. Cool. Okay, we didn't need to get another stone. So we got the golden fleece. Now I probably need to just string this, don't I? Is there one in the place? Uh, a spinning wheel. Yeah, there is. Cool. Right, let's head over to the spinning wheel. Get this spun into some string. And I think we're actually almost there, you know. Oh, you prick. So I can't actually use that spinning wheel. Is there one in Catherby or Sears Village? Uh, yes, there is. Right, let's go back there. I think the spinning wheel's up here. I used to remember this from back in the day of making flax. Spinning them up here for 200 GP. All right, golden wool. Let's spin that. And now let's use the golden wool on that. Yeah, there we go. So now I need to just get it enchanted. And to do that, I need to go somewhere southwest around here on the coast, I think it said, by the lake. So I assume somewhere around here. So that looks like it. Strange altar, almost definitely it. Yeah, okay, so it's got to be it. Let's summon the strange altar. Oh, what can I do for you? I can present you with an offering and you enchant my lyre for me. This is true. For a simple enchantment, you may place an offering on my altar. Okay, cool. Present offering of a single fish. Raw shark. Many thanks for the offering. Please accept as a gift the ability to play your lyre. Hey, there we go. Enchanted lyre. Right. Let's give this a little whirl. Look at it go. Right, let's go and play this in the long haul. Uh, he said I have to go through the, the right-hand side where the bouncer is. Right, let's go into the door. And then we go onto the stage. And we play the lyre. Doing a little performance, a bit of poetry. That's a bit rude. Uh, you're one of the greatest bards I've ever had the pleasure of watching performing. Nice, cool. Two votes. But I'm going to go around and carry on talking to some people. So we know that... Did we try these people? No, I don't think we did, did we? I'm looking for council members. Who's blah, 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 blah. I'm a council member. Here we go. Can I somehow persuade you to vote for me at the Council of Elders? I don't like you. It's a bit rude, isn't it? You smell bad and you have stupid hair and bad breath and you walk a bit funny. Don't need your stupid vote. Well, that was an interesting in interaction. I kind of feel like I might have to... Well, pickpocket. What can I pickpocket off of her? Oh. Probably shouldn't have done that. What about Sigley? Are you a member of the council? Uh, I'm pleased to say I am. Here we go. It's another person. I was wondering if I could persuade you to vouch for me. If you can demonstrate some hunting skills, then perhaps I, I may offer my vote. How can I prove my hunting skills to you? The prey I have in mind for you to prove your worth is something far more dangerous, far more difficult, and far more deadly. The Drogon. The Drogon is an evil ghost from Fremenic mythology that devours the souls of those brave warriors who met their ends at sea. It stalks the coastlines, invisible to all. It brings us bad fortunes and curses our journeys across the seas. It's also unkillable by normal means. What am I meant to do there? Should you accept my challenge? I will show you a special hunter's trick that will help you. Do you accept the challenge? Yeah, Garnon. Give it a go. We hunters hunt it and steal its life force. We do this with a special talisman here. It will let you track the Drogon while it's invisible. And when you defeat it, it will also absorb its essence. Track the Drogon, defeat it, and store its essence in its talisman. If you can do this, I'll vote for you. Okay, I've got to locate it. The talisman guides you to the southeast. What was a dragon? Is that a dragon in bling? Oh, fuck, I'm getting attacked. Right, this is a pretty easy fight. A pretty cool guy though. He's like a dead Fremenic. Skellington. Look at that. That's very cool. Uh, cool. I absorbed the dragon essence into your talisman. Nice. Okay, cool. That was very easy. Arguably the easiest one so far. Right. Um, so I've got three votes. Now, who else do I need to go to? 
Uh, what about this guy, Swenson? I've no reason why I'd prevent you from becoming a Fremenic. But first, you must pass a little test for me to prove you're trustworthy. What kind of test? I serve our clan as a navigator. The seas can be a fearful place when you know not where you are heading. Below this building, I've constructed a maze. Should you be able to walk from one side to the other, that will be proof to me. Okay, cool. Let's go. I mean, it already starts off with what route do I take? Because there's two trapdoors and a ladder. The ladder, I reckon, is too obvious. Let's try and see what these trapdoors do. It won't budge. It looks like the trapdoor can be opened from the other side. Okay, cool. That isn't an option then. This one. And that is the same. So that was something that I... Oh, what about that? That chest. Search for traps. You're not high in... Okay, no. Uh, searching these boxes. I feel like it's already started. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Okay, I think I am overthinking this. Let's just go down the ladder. Right. Oh, God. Is this just going to be like a memory test? What is this? Where do I even have to go to? Right, let's just do... Let's do a little... Let's try and keep it in order. Let's go north. Let's go around. So we'll start going north in every room that I go into. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was going like, to push me out if it was wrong or something. Oh, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. Um, let's go this way. Okay, that did not take me to the right place. Uh, how on earth am I going to remember where this takes me? Right. Let's just start clicking stuff. Oh, that's an escape route. Okay, we don't want that. I don't know where I'm meant to go. I don't know where the actual end is. I'll be honest, this was bloody horrible. I spent the next half an hour basically just clicking with no real understanding of any pattern or guide through this puzzle. I noticed that some runes had wooden pillars whilst others had stone, and some contained large boulders, but I couldn't figure out if this meant anything. So half an hour later, nothing. No luck. I think I need to go from the beginning and try each of the first rooms, because the, when you get into one of these other rooms, uh, let's just talk to this guy again. Um, it's really confusing down there. Don't worry, I know you're not the first to fail this puzzle. Is there anything he can give me in terms of some advice? Your maze is pretty tough. The most complex route I've ever devised. I'm truly a genius at navigation. The world will remember my name. Navigator. Can't I do something else for you? No, it's my maze or nothing. The world will remember my... Swenson. The navigator. Oh, shit. His name is the fucking order. South, west, east, north, south, east, north. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The world will remember my name. Notepad. Swenson. That's definitely it, right? All right, south, west, east, north, south, east, north. Let's fucking go. There we go. Right, that was much easier when I actually went and talked to the bloke because he kind of gave it away there. Um, otherwise, that would have been impossible. I have absolutely no idea how else you would have done that. Right, so that is one more down. So let's have a little look. Four votes so far. I think I need seven out of 12 or something like that. So let's talk to this guy, see if he's a um, member of the uh, order or whatever it's called. Should you be able to prove to me that you have something to offer my clan, I will vote in favor in the next meeting. How can I prove that to you? I have but a simple test. The building behind me is my house. Inside, I've constructed a pu another fucking puzzle, right? My puzzle tests not what you know, but what you can work out. All members of our clan have been tested when they took their trials. You must enter my house with no items, weapons or armour. Then it is a simple matter of entering through one door and leaving by another. Right, let's go. Enter in one door and leave out the other. Seems fairly straightforward. There's a combination lock on this door. Above the lock you see that there's a metal plaque with a riddle on it. Or what would you like to do? Read the riddle. My first is in water and also in tea. My second is in fish but not in sea. My third in mountains but not underground. My last is in strike but not in pound. My hole crushes... Jesus, this is long. My hole crushes mountains, drains rivers and destroys civilizations. All that I live fear my passing. What am I? So we know it's a four-letter word. And also I assume that then means that this first bit is just giving us the kind of an indication as to as to what the letter is as a split all that live fear my passing what am i i think i've got it you know i might have got it just off that last line all fear my passing i think it might be time water also in t the t is there fish but not in c there's an i there my third is in mountains there's an m there but there's not an m there my last is in strike but not in pound again e so that that does work and it was the only reason i got it was from this fear my passing and as soon as i think passing i think of passing time hey solve the riddle let's go right we're in i assume i have to go upstairs but you never know with these sorts of things. There might be something of a clue around here. Green bed, remember that, green bed. Okay, this is like an escape room. If anyone's ever done an escape room. The chest is securely locked shut. There is some kind of balance attached to the lock and the number four is painted just above it. Uh, let's just try and open the trap door. Obviously that's gonna be locked. Or not. Okay, let's open this door. Locked tightly shut. Study abstract mural. Interesting, whatever that is. Is there any 
searchable crates in here there is find nothing and I can't reach that doesn't look like there's anything really in here that I can uh, utilize um, so let's just go through this bit so there's a bunch of chests let's search this one you find a jug with a number three painted on it okay let's search these boxes find some thread some blue thread a small pick inside right that might be for the ice maybe let's search over here toy ship one thing I've always I've never understood about in RuneScape and I've never been sure about it is when you see two boxes like this stacked on top of each other are they separate entities or is that one thing I never ever have known that I've always I think just tried to search both as two separate things but I don't actually know if it's is it two crates or is it just one crate that just looks graphically like two crates I've got a magnet and then nothing of interest let's open this chest I think the play is just to close Click on everything, study and search everything, and then try and figure out what I'm meant to do. You notice there's something unusual about the right eye of this bull's head. It's not an eye at all, but some kind of disc made of wood. You take it from the head, right? We've got a disc made of wood. You notice there's something unusual about the left eye of this unicorn head. Some kind of red disc, or a red and a wooden disc. Bucket with a number five painted on it. There's a drain, there's a tap. There's a cooking range. Bucket with the number five. I've already forgotten what the jug had on it. I'm gonna write this down, it's a jug equals three bucket equals five this chest has a number four painted on it all right let's search these bookcases you find a red herring red herring is uh typically to deviate you away right so that's probably something we ignore all right so there's a frozen table over here let's try and use this small pick on it nothing interesting happens maybe we have to boil some water and heat it up or something like that let's try that use a bucket on the tap we get a full bucket should we use that on the cooking range to make some hot water Nope, maybe we can put it in the jug. Oh God, what have I just done there? Two fifths of a full bucket. I've got two fifths of a full bucket, which I've never seen before, which is interesting. Let's pour that back into there. I haven't got a clue where to start. Well, we can just pour that on the water, on the, on, on the frozen table here. Immediately freezes the water in your bucket. Okay, cool, we've got a frozen bucket. Uh, maybe we use this on the cooking range. Oh, that's just gonna, ice turns to steam. That's interesting. You place the frozen bucket in the range, the ice turns to steam. What does this mean? Oh, hello. Was that there last time? Oh, I cannot remember. Oh, actually, this is the old disc. Can I stick it in there? Do that. It's a perfect fit, right? Okay, we've got one of them. There's a half disc missing here. Is that... Oh, I can't remember if it was like that or not. What about this one, wooden disc? Slightly too small and falls back out. I wonder if it's slightly too small because it's not covered in paint. I mean, let's just start trying to use some stuff on other stuff here. Smash up the toy ship, maybe. Stick a magnet on that stick a magnet on that uh put the button in the jug for no reason there's some kind of balance attached to the lock and a number four is painted just above it can we pop this in there pop the magnet on there the scales wobble a bit that's interesting i'm curious as if as if the guy outside might give us a clue if you leave this door no nope, no don't want to do that don't want to fail the trial let's fill this jug up with water so now we've got three thirds three fifths sorry can, we, if, can i pour this into here here we go you place the bucket on the scale, it's too light to balance it properly. Oh, right, I need four fifths of a bucket and then I need to pour it on there. Because if that's too light, that's three fifths of a bucket. This has a number three paint on it, that has a number five paint on it. How would I do that? I can, that's three. How would I get one? I need to get one in here. If I, What happens if I fill this up and then pour it down the drain? Is it just empty completely? Yes, it does. If I had two buckets, yeah, if I had two buckets, I could do it. Because I could get a jug. Oh, in fact, actually, I can do that anyway, can't I? Yeah, three fifths, and I use that on there, and I do it again. Yeah, cool. I've got one third of a jug, and now I need to. Oh no, that's not going to work, is it? Oh yes, then I can do it. Yeah, and then we need to just remove all the water from this one. There we go. And I need to put one third in there, and I get one fifth, and now I can do a full jug and use the full jug, and I get four. Yes, nice, right, cool. And then we use the four on here. You take a strange-looking vase out of the chest. Nice. Okay. Uh, I shake this, I guess. From the sound of it, there is something metallic inside, but the neck of the vase is too narrow for it to come out. Right, okay. You smash it up or something. The pick wouldn't be strong enough to break the vase open. It gets very cold on the table. And then we try and smash it? No. Then we use a magnet on it? No. Then we use some blue thread on it? No. We fill this up with water? Oh, you can. Now what if we shake it? The water inside sloshes around a little. Some spills out the neck of the vase. So at this point, I got pretty stuck for the next 15 minutes. I was trying to interact with this vase in a number of different ways to try and get the small item out of it. But unfortunately, with no luck. So you can't boil it either. Can I cook this herring? What? As you cook the herring on the stove, the colouring peels, fuck's sake. And then do that and then that. And then I've got a red disc and I can go down here and do this. And then can I just stick it in here? The centre of the mural falls out. Vase lid. 
Let's fucking go. What do I do with that? Put that on there. And now what? It's full of water. Use. Oh, it's going to. If I freeze it now and then heat it, the steam is going to blow it out. Oh, or just expands and freezes and shatters it. Nice. You're left with a key in case in ice. Then we use that on here on the cooking range. Hey, I think that's going to get me out. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yes, I have no choice but to vote in your favour. That was that was quite difficult. The red herring, I kind of ruled it out. And I didn't even think it's a fish. It's a fucking fish and there's a stove in there. And it's like one of the most basic things you do in RuneScape is you cook fish on a stove. And I didn't do it. Now, oh, where are we off to? I've still got this drinking contest that I haven't got a clue how to do. Uh, have we done Sigmund? I don't know if we've spoken to Sigmund actually. That I am. You'll first need to do a little task for me, but a small task. I simply require a flower. It's not just any flower. Someone in town has an extremely rare flower from a far off land and they picked it up on their travels. I would like you to demonstrate your merchanting skills to me by persuading them to part with it. You will attain this rare flower for me then. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, obviously it's going to be some sort of catch at some point. Any suggestions on where to start looking for this flower? If I knew I'd start looking, I'd simply do it myself. So I'd not expect you to leave this town to find whatever you need. That's it. That's all I'm getting. So here I get really stuck looking for this flower. I ended up searching the place for around 45 minutes, trying to talk to everyone that I could find. I then got distracted trying to go back and do the drinking contest, but I didn't get anywhere or properly give it a go. I also started killing the townsfolk, which I didn't think would work, but at this point I was pretty desperate. I eventually thought I'd need to double check that I'd spoken to everyone. So systematically, from left to right, from this entire town, I was gonna to talk to everyone again. So that's what I did. From left to right, we're going to go on every single NPC that I can see on the minimap. So there's no one here, there's no one down there, there's a guard there and there's a bunch of sailors. Let's talk to Jarvold again. Nothing. Okay, cool. What about Haskell? He says, I don't have time to talk. He says, don't talk to me. That's the Lunar Diplomacy. Right, let's go to Yersa and she says, no. Let's go back up to this place and talk to the sailor and I believe he just says I'm a sailor. What the fuck? Did I not ask this guy? <gasps> this is what I mean. I just have to be from the start, I think. This happened with Monkey Madness with the crates. I wasted 20 minutes. I had to do all the crates again. In like a really systematic approach. I have to do it every single time. Whenever it's like talk to someone or find something. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Okay, cool. Right. Even the outlands have heard from, of my, my mysterious flower. I found it in a country far, far away from here. Can I buy it from you? I'm afraid not. There's a woman in this village whose heart I seek to capture, and I think giving her this strange flower might be the best bet with her. Maybe you can let me have the flower and do something else to impress her. That's not a totally stupid idea. She's a lover of music and a romantic ballad, but... Well, this is where the fucking ballad comes in. Unfortunately, I don't have a musical bone in my body, so someone will have to write one for me. If I can find someone to write you a romantic ballad, you'll give me your flower. That sounds like a fair deal. Right, let's use this on him. Nothing happens. Let's talk to him again. Ask about the merchant's trial. Don't suppose you have any idea where I can find a love ballad, do you? The only musician I know in these parts would be that terrible bard Olaf. So this isn't the ballad. Oh, I'm fucking confused now. Right, let's go over to Olaf and talk to him. Right, at least we've got someone with this one. We've made some sort of progress with the flower. We found someone. That is so frustrating, though, that I didn't talk to that guy. Did I dream that I spoke to him? I was convinced that he said, I'm just a sailor, jog on. All right, let's talk to Olaf. I don't suppose you have any idea where I could find a love ballad. As an official Fremenic bard, it falls within my remit to compose all music for the tribe. I'm fully versed in all various types of romantic music. Can you write me one? Normally I'd be thrilled at the chance to show my skills as a poet in composing a seductively romantic ballad. But, can I concentrate fully upon my work recently? Why is that? It's these old worn out shoes of mine. If you can find me a pair of sturdy boots to replace these old worn out ones, I'll be happy to spend time on composing you a ballad. Right, and then you're going to tell me where to get the boots. If I did, I wouldn't be able to go find... Okay, cool. So I need to get some boots for him. Is there, a, is there a shoe store? There's a clothes shop over there. That might do him. Let's go and talk to that person. Can I find some custom sturdy boots, do you? I'll be able to make you a pair if you're really desperate, though. That I am. I know that you must have the ear of the chieftain for him to consider you as a worthy, but persuade him to reduce the sales tax placed upon all Fremenic shopkeepers. It does nothing but hurt my business now. Right, so now we go to the chieftain. A reduction of sales taxes. Well, I'm the only one in the Fremenic who have authorised such a thing. What does an outlander want with that? Actually, it's not for me. I need to get it as part of my trials. There will, of course, be a shortfall in the tribe's income. That will need to be made up elsewhere, however. How about this? For many years, Sigley has been the only only one in the tribe who knows the location of the best hunting grounds where the game is easiest to catch. You can persuade him to let the entire tribe know, then we can increase the productivity. Okay, cool, so we have to go and talk to Sigley now. The only way I'd be prepared to give them up would be, Jesus Christ, another request. A new string for my hunting bow, not just any bowstring, I need a custom bowstring, balance for my bow precisely to keep my hunt competitive. So how am I going to get you a bowstring then? He's not going to tell me anything. I did see some flax somewhere, where did I see them? I saw some flax somewhere, didn't I? But that 
probably isn't going to work. Although, is there a, qu a crafting requirement for this quest? There is, 40 crafting. Maybe I do need to do that. Where on earth did I see those flax? It was over here, wasn't it? There you go. Can I just make him one? I can't use this spinning thing though, can I? No, I can't. So where would I get this bowstring for? I think this is like a mini version of One Small Favour, isn't it? This, this bit. You kind of go from one person to the next person. They keep passing you on. Who on earth would I talk to? Maybe this little dude? A finely balanced bowstring. I mean, the weapon shop? That's a helmet shop. It's not a weapon shop. What about this person? Let's talk to him anyway, because they, they sort of deal with armor. Oh, here we go. That was bang on. I have a few in stock. What would an outlander be wanting with equipment like that? Why do you have a few in stock? You're a helmet shop. Right, it needs to be weighted precisely to suit his hunting bow. I'll be able to set the perfect string for you. Just one small problem. What a surprise. I heard a rumor that one of these fishermen down the docks caught some weird looking fish as they were fishing the other day. This intrigued me. I'd like to have it myself. Make it a good trophy. Give me the fish. Get your bowstring right. Let's go to the fisherman. This is tedious. Can I trade you something for it? I'll happily trade it if you can find the secret map of the best fishing spots the navigator has hidden away. Right, the navigator. That's Swenson, I guess. This match at all the prime fishing locations. Very valuable. I can't just give it away. Yes, fair enough. Trade you something for it. Here we go. No less than the weather forecast from our seer. Right, let's talk to the seer. Can I have the weather forecast then, please? You require divination of the weather. This is a simple matter for me, but I'll require something in return from you. Of course. Do not fret, Outlander. It's fairly simple matter. I require a bodyguard for protection. Find someone willing to offer me this service. That's all. Right, one of these guards. Agmar. Agnar, even. Are you a council member? No, actually, I can't talk to that guy, can he? Because he just kicks off. Oh, jeez. Who can I talk to? There's a guy. Market guard. Oh, there's a guy in here, isn't it? Pontac. He might be able to do it. Right, here we go. No, this isn't. He's not going to do it for me, is he? Yep, no. He doesn't like me. What about the bouncer? The bouncer might do it. Nope. Doesn't fancy it. Oh, about Thorville. Here we go. Here we go. If you can persuade one of the revelers to give up the champion's token so that I might take their place, you may have a contract as a bodyguard. Let's talk to one of these revelers and see. One thing that keeps me here, our barkeep is the best in the world and worked taverns across the land. When she was younger, she experimented a lot with her drinks and invented a cocktail so alcoholic and tasty that it's become something of a legend to all who enjoy a drink. Unfortunately, she decided that cocktails were not a suitable drink for friendly warriors and vowed to never make it again. I've been here every day since she returned, hoping that someday she might change her mind. Right, all I need to do is get to make this drink. Right, let's talk to the barmaid. Well, you seem okay for an outlander. It'll be Ashamed to see you fail. You know, ask Aladdin, the kid outside, yeah. He's nothing but a pest. He keeps sneaking in and out, stealing beer. I should have to think what he will be like when he's past in the child of manhood. If you can get him to sign a contract promise that he'll never, ever, ever darken my doorway again, you'll get a drink. He'll probably be willing to go in exchange for some cash. Okay, we're up to the kid, and this has been bloody long. Don't suppose you have any idea where I could find a written promise from Ask Aladdin to stay out of the long haul. Wait, he is him. I suppose you really need that promise. Well, I'll tell you what, buddy, I'll give you a written promise. All I ask for in return is 5,000 gold. Yep. Let's do it. Right, so we need to get 5k for the little kid. Um, so let's head back to Camelot and get some GPs. So I was just walking past on the way back, and I noticed this guy who stands out quite a bit, the poison salesman, and you can talk about the Fremenic Trials and also about Murder Mystery Quest. I don't know what that is. Now, I'm aware this looks a little sus. Out of nowhere, I managed to find this guy. I click on NPCs quite literally all the time. You might notice me doing it, just right-clicking on people as I walk around the world. At the time, I've been thinking that maybe to win the drinking contest, I need to spike my opponent's drink so that I can win. So I saw the poison salesman and kind of thought he might be worth talking to. But to clarify, hand on heart, there was no funny business here. This was just a complete fluke as I noticed him when walking by for the sixth or seventh time during this quest. Discerning says, how about you try my brand new range of alcohol? Yeah, look, this is ever been too drunk to find your way home? Ever wish that you could party away all night long and still wake up fresh as the day the next morning? Thanks to the miracles of modern magic, we come up with a solution. Looks just like beer, tastes like beer, smells like beer, but it's not beer. Or not alcoholic beer. How? What the fuck, man? Yeah, he's going to give me a keg of it, so I can just get a keg of this and drink that instead. What the fuck? I think I kind of thought, I saw a poison salesman, and I thought maybe I can poison the other guy so that when he drinks a keg, he will die or something. That's a bit crazy, but I thought about, put, that's what I kind of thought more about putting stuff into his drink. So I saw the po poison salesman, and I thought, oh, maybe you can get poison and put it into their drink and kill him inadvertently, sneak it in. And it turns out I can get a low alcohol keg from him, so I think I've just done both of these tasks. Anyway, let's carry on with this guy and give him his 5k and then hopefully get the first, or well, the second last vote. Here we go. There we go. Done. Let me know if you get him in a cash video. Cool. We got the promissory note. So then we go back to her. Here we go. And now I've forgotten who I give this to. Oh, okay. I've kind of forgotten the order I did this thing. I think it was Manny the Reveler. I'm going to talk to him. There's one of these guys in here. Here we go, yeah. You may take my token. I'll happily give my place at the long haul table with champions just for a taste of this exquisite beverage. Right, and now it's been a, like a week since I did this, I took a bit of a break and I've now forgotten the order that I did this in, so I'm gonna have to go and watch the video back. We then spent the next five minutes just doing the reverse order of what we'd just done. 
to finally make it back to the flower. Yes, there we go, got the exotic flower. And this has to go to the merchant. I have no choice but to recommend you to the Council of Elders. There we go. I've got six votes, I think. Yes, there we go. All right, last vote. And I've got the low alcoholic beer. Let's talk to Manny the Reveler and get this drinking contest on. Yes, let's start this thing. All right, I'll drink first and you drink. Needs a little sip. There we go. Um, That didn't work. Oh, I think I drank the wrong one. Yeah, okay, cool. I think I just drank the normal one first. I thought it would take priority and take the low one. But let's do that again. And hopefully I'll drink the low alcohol one. Okay, maybe I've got to grab a keg and then drop the keg and then talk to him. I'm a bit confused here. I've got the keg of beer. I've got the low alcohol keg. Do I do that? Oh, okay. I have to distract him whilst I cheat. Can I just go and stand over here? No, nope, he can still see me. If I just do it outside here? You can only use the beer keg in the Fremenic long haul. I need to distract him somehow. Um, right, let's talk to Eldgrim, see if, or someone else in here. Maybe she can help. Nope, that chieftain. Nope. No, right, I'm a bit confused as to how I can cheat against this guy. Maybe I can do that? No. Um, let's talk to him. No, I'm not ready. I want to line your stomach. Come back when you're ready. Okay, so that didn't work. There's a vial on the floor. Was that my vial? I actually don't know. Maybe I could pour some of this on the fire. Some beer on the fire. Nope. So I've got the keg, which I thought would be the hard part. But now I've got to distract him somehow whilst I cheat. I'm going to have to find some way to distract this guy whilst I cheat. How can I distract him? Like lob a tank at his head or something. No. Let's talk to Ask Aladdin and see if he can help me distract him. Yeah, no, that didn't work. Um, don't know what to do here. Use the ballad on him? No. What's that? Put inside pipe. What's that? Put inside... Put inside what? I can click on this pipe here and it says put inside, but I don't know. I just happened to click on it through the wall. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I couldn't put a keg in there. Oh, I could put something in there to distract him, like a potato or an onion or a rock. I don't really know what that is, but I think this has got to be something to do with it, right? Examine the pipe. I'm thinking about pipe presumably for rainwater to run through, but I don't have anything on me to put inside it. I've got a bucket of water on me. That wouldn't do anything, will it? Bloody hell, this is actually really tough, this one is. What is that there for then? Maybe it's a different quest or something. I'm quite surprised that this, this one specific bit, not only requires you to get some random low alcohol beer from a pub that's like miles away, but then also, then you have to do something else with the bloke. Do I have to play my little instrument that I got? I put it back in the bank, but I'm a bit confused. Maybe I need to play that in front of him and it'll distract him a little bit. I don't know what else to do, so I'm gonna run and grab that instrument. Right, I've got my lyre. I'm going to try and play it next to him and see what happens. Wouldn't know where to begin playing anything on this. Right, that didn't work. I'll whack him with it. <sighs> it's got to be something to do with his pipe. But what would you do? What would you put in there? Oh, I just feel like I'm right on the cusp of completing this quest and just can't get my head around it. And there's literally nothing. There's like no guidance on this quest at all from the quest log. I feel like talking to people doesn't really help either. How can you distract someone? I could start a bar fight. That would be a good way of doing it. But I don't know how to do that. I'm thinking if I could stuff the drain pipe with something, maybe it'll build up water or something and explode, or that might cause a distraction, but I don't think I can put anything up there. What could I put up a drain pipe? Something in the area as well, maybe. I feel like, why else is that drain pipe there? What would you stuff up a drain pipe? Or oh, it could be sand. No, you wouldn't put sand up there, it would just come out. And no one tells you anything, because they're all just talking about the council. Oh, this is really stumped me, this has. Got to be something to put inside there, like a some sort of explosive? You don't get dynamite in this game. Do you? A thin metal pipe presumably for rainwater to run through. But how could I block it up? Or maybe like soft clay or something. I'm thinking of something malleable that you could stick in there. I mean, I've got no no other thoughts. Is there, is there clay in the mine at the top, actually? Oh, there is. There is clay up here. That must be it, right? Get some clay from here and then get some water on it. That feels pretty logical. Right, I'm going to go back to Camelon and get my pickaxe. Right, we've got the pickaxe. Let's get some clay from this place. Oh, fucking hell. Only Fremenings may pass. What about climbing over this? Oh, you piss me off. Where can I get clay from? I don't know. Valador, I guess? Whereas I know I can get some near, like, Remington. Alright, let's grab some clay. I think we just mix the clay with the water like that. Yeah, cool. We got some soft clay. Let's get another one just in case. Right, let's head back to Camelot. Right, moment of truth. If I put inside, is it going to use my soft clay on it? Oh, oh, that didn't work. What if I use it on it? Nothing happened. So that was a complete waste of time. What about normal clay? 
I fully thought because there was clay up here and clay is moldable you can stuff it in and like I don't know block the pipes and that might distract him somehow there's no hints there's literally nothing it's giving me absolutely nothing to say this is a pipe maybe I could use XYZ on it. I have got no idea what to do to distract this guy. Maybe some sort of explosion, but I don't know what would cause that. Like a tinderbox and something else, but I don't know how I would create an explosion. I don't know what that would do. I've been looking at their names as well because I've noticed that this guy is called Ask Aladdin. And it's like Ask a lad then. But I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything. This guy is meant to be the one that you talk to throughout the entire thing to get hints and stuff, I think. But he doesn't tell me nothing about this one. That's the spirit, buddy. Maybe there's something spirits? Or oh, maybe it's spirits. Maybe there's something about spirit. Maybe I can go to the pub and get like a whiskey or something. Is there spirits in this game? I don't even know. Because I don't think that barkeep can trade me. Let's head back to the pub in Camelot and let's see if I can get a tinderbox and then maybe a spirit and shove that in the pipe or something. I don't really know. Make an explosion with that. Let's get a tinderbox. Maybe a log. Again, this is giving me flashbacks to the underground pass quest where I spent about two hours trying to blow up that woman's house. I don't feel like this is the right thing to be doing, but let's talk to the bartender. Um, what do you have? Homemade stew and some meat pies and I want a beer. Okay, but that's not really going to be... I want a spirit, ideally. I don't think there are spirits in this game, to be fair. Let's try beer. I want to use a beer on a tinderbox. Nothing. Okay, so I don't really think I'm going back with much, to be honest. I don't think this is going to work. I, I don't even know what, what I've got on me. Anyway, I've got this beer. Let's see if I can put anything inside this pipe. No. Let's set fire to some logs. No, I can't light a fire here. I can do it on this bit though. All right, so we've got a little fire there and then chuck a beer on top of it. You can't cook that. Makes sense. What about a keg of beer? Oh, I just don't know what I can put up there. There has to be some sort of hint as to what I could put up a drain pipe. But there's nothing here. Furnace and anvil, pottery wheel, some other stuff. Dairy churn. What's a dairy churn? I make cheese in this game. I know you can get cheese, but... Oh, you can. We can make butter, you can make some cream, or some cheese. I mean, let's make some cheese. Oh, I've never, ever used one of these in this game. That's not bad XP as well, 64 XP. Well, I've got some cheese. Let's try and stick some cheese up there. Well, I think I've probably got to try the other two things. There was butter and there was cream that I could make. Oh, I'm just lost. I don't know what to stick up this pipe. I don't even know if the pipe has anything to do with it. I just don't know what to do. I don't understand it because I've got these two barrels in my backpack. Just... They look the same. Just, when he asked me to drink, can't I just drink this one? Why do I have to do this bit? I don't understand. This person's completing the quest as well. I just picked up the barrel. See, they just did something. Fuck, they definitely just did something. There was some sort of explosion, and it has to be to do with this pipe. 100%, because everyone just stopped and went, what was that? This is probably a bot, but whoever it is, Lunastan, is just... Definitely confirm that I need to make some sort of explosion with this pipe. What 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 explodes in this game? Some sort of explosive. Where can I get an explosive? Right, so I just went and had some dinner, and the entire time I was thinking about this, and I have made no progress in the brain. The only thing I can think of is checking out Sears Village, perhaps, because the poison guy was down there. And then I thought of Catherby and maybe the candle shop. I don't know if the candle shop guy can maybe sell me something. It's like a bit of like a, I don't know, like a cracker that explodes, like a firecracker. So I'm going to head down there quickly and check that out. No, he sells candles. Let's talk to him. No candle man. Um, I'm going to check out the, the, the shop at the port here because they sell some wacky stuff and i'm wondering if they do they sell like dynamite soda ash bucket of slime a bucket of sand i don't know what soda ash is what's that for oh that's for you make glass with that all right nothing there so let's go to camelot oh he doesn't give me any um the other guy just sells beer all right let's head back up to relica there has to be something in the town to give me a clue as to what to stick up this pipe a chicken can i stuff a chicken up there no so at this point, I became so defeated that I put out a poll to you guys as to how I might approach an issue like this, where I'm completely stuck. Thanks for all the responses, an overwhelming majority for asking people in-game, which is something I'll adopt if I need to. I saw a couple of comments of people saying just to move on if you can't do something, and this is also a good solution as to not void the integrity of the account. But of course, this could lock me out to masses of content, so I'll kind of play it by ear. Either of these are a complete last resort. This is only after hours and hours of trying something where I really feel like I've exhausted all the options. Anyway, whilst I waited for the responses to come in, I carried on trying to make some progress on my own. Whilst I wait for responses, a couple of ideas. There's a spice trader here. In Ardy, which I've never heard of, I thought I'd go check that out. There's also a wine trader in Draenor, and I'm like, oh, what if I could use the wine trader 
to make like a Molotov. I don't think that's the right idea, but I'm just thinking of something like you get a wine bottle, you stick a piece of cloth in the top of it to act like a fuse and you could put it in there and run away and then it makes a loud bang. Oh, I just don't know at this point. I'm gonna go to Lumbridge and see. Okay, let's make a ball of wool. Let's try that. No, that doesn't make anything. Okay, so I can't make a Molotov to stick up there. Right, forget that. Let's head over to Ardy. I don't know why I think a spice trader might do it, but garlic, no, right. Okay, forget that. I just don't know what to do here. What does this workman do? Has he got anything to do with it? Yes. See, fix this bridge yourself. If only some kind of stranger would buy us a beer, I've got a beer. Make sure you don't get none of that non-alcoholic rub- Oh, so he tells you about the non-alcoholic rubbish from the poison salesman guy. That's good, so, okay, so that's that's why. Right, okay. I'll give him this beer, can I do that? That's spot nice. Here, you can have this. I picked that up as a souvenir on my last holes. What is it? I don't know rightly, but if you use a tinderbox in it, don't- Fucking hell, you're joking me, I've got it. No fucking way. It was this dude all along. I got it. I got a fucking banger or whatever it is. This is literally what I've been asking for. And just by chance, I'm walking back up here for like the sixth or seventh time. I find the guy. So this guy, who I have walked past for years and years, as you go up to rock crabs, tells you about the non-alcoholic beer. And he also gives you this strange object, which you can go and shove in the pipe. Oh my god, and I had a beer on me by chance. Let's fucking go. Oh, I'm so glad. Didn't need to use ask anyone anything so far. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Right, okay, cool. So, now I can pop this in the pipe. That's so bizarre, just to have some random dude down here give you this. That is such a rogue thing. And it's not even something like, I was thinking about, you can make it. How can you make it from the game? Like, what's in the game? This is just a very specific item that you just need to have. Right, let's pop it in here. Wait, what? Let's use the strange objects on the pipe. Nothing happens. Right, let's do a tinderbox. Okay, there we go. It starts to hiss. Right, now, now let's pop it inside the pipe. That's gonna make a really loud bang when it goes off. It'd be a perfect distraction to help me cheat in the drink drinking contest. Right, let's go back inside. And then I guess I do it again. Yeah, there we go, cool. That worked, now we can talk to Manny. Here we go. See you have a keg of beer, we're ready to drink against each other. Yes, let's do it, as you wish. I'll start first and then you can go. Right, he has a little drink, then I have a drink, and I don't feel drunk at all. There we go, get his vote. Right, I've got all, all the votes, let's talk to the chieftain. How goes your attempt to gain votes with the Council of Elders? I have seven members of the council prepared to vote in my favour now. I've been closely monitoring your progress so far. Then let us put formality aside, and let me personally welcome you into the Fremenic. May you bring us honour. There we fucking go. Oh, I am so happy with that. That was so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. So much harder. That pipe bomb to stick up there, I mean, it ha I I was making cheese to stick up there. I was I was trying to make a Molotov. I do often default to like trying to burn things, which is quite worrying, but oh, I'm so happy about that. Right, a decent amount of XP in a lot of different skills. Let's go and get a hat. How much? Oh, to be fair, the Farseer helm was probably one of my favorite helms. Oh my God, it's 78K. That's a lot. I still want to get a Berserk helm. Anyway, let's get 78K out because I'm going to buy it. That is crazy. I have walked past that council guy. How many times? He's just one of those people that you just see there and you just don't even, you don't even look twice at him because you just walk past him all the time. It's like one of those NPCs. And it's so random that he just gives you a little firecracker. That's such a, just a tedious link. Oh dearie me, what an adventure that was. That probably, in total, I mean, I've been going at it for about three hours this evening. I've done about two, one and a half hour streams, probably about six hours in total with this quest. That is insane. And all for this Berserk Helm, which looks fucking sick. Look at that. That is very cool. Right, now it's time to get a torso, get some rune plate legs and a rune defender. We are going full Zerker. That's what we want. Thank you.